Hey gamers. Hi. Hey gamers. Gamers gaming. The gamer zone has logged in. I'm gonna game with Hello, the gamers. Mike. No. That's okay. I'm for that. I'm no. uh game button. Question mark. Okay. You may Al notice we're advancing the story. Alex isn't here, I guess. I guess. <laughs> this karaoke bar is very quiet. No, listen. In the background, Baka Mitai playing very quietly. <laughs> Actually true. I wonder if that's an actual grant of elevator. Oh, I know this cutscene. Oh, we're, we're actually... First of all, we're playing Kiryu. And we're actually doing story. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's new. <laughs> it's, yeah. been, it's, it's been a minute. It has been a minute, and I figured I would break up the monotony of real estate with a little bit of story advancement. This is some, this is some good story thing that's going to happen here now. Yo. <laughs> if I was new, she'd be like, why are you here? You've been doing real estate for the past six weeks. <laughs> Don't you have some property to buy real estate, man? I fucking love her 80s haircut so much. Mm -hmm. And the hoops. Actually, just her entire ensemble altogether is very 80s, and it's good. That's an 80s haircut? It is. That's that's an 80s suit. Like, those fucking shoulders? Oh my god. That's totally an 80s haircut, by the way. The, like, feathered, like, yeah, yeah, bangs yeah, yeah, and right. stuff. Yeah. So when you say 80s haircut, I think giant perm. That, that was also an 80s haircut. The, there are a lot of 80s haircuts. It turns out there's a lot of haircuts. Yeah. Some of them were in fashion at the same time as other haircuts. Right. Like, uh, you know what else is an 80s haircut? Is a flat top. That guy, though, there, he has a 90s haircut. He's ahead of the curve. Yeah, you're honestly right. He does. He kind of has, like, a, um... I forget what you call it. Grunge haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, he's... You stick... You give him a cigarette, you stick him on a poster, this is Kurt Cobain. I was gonna say, a little bit of Kurt Cobain vibes coming off of me. A little bit. Unfortunately, his tortured soul comes after uh, grunge has ended. Bad. <laughs> so, you know. Not much you can do about that, you know? Yeah, no, it's unfortunate. Nishiki could have been a star had he just, uh, you know, had all of that misfortune happen to him earlier in the 90s, and also he moved to Seattle. And also, if he was the star of his own game... And then, and not a side character in someone else's video game. Well, the voice actor gets to star in his own game. Is that so, true? What? The guy who voices Nishiki in Japanese voices Ichiban in Yakuza 7. Is that true? Yes. Wow. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that. Well, because I, I think you're playing with the English dub, right? So yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, so I, <laughs> I I can't make that mental jump. I'm playing in Japanese, so I I noticed it. The, it's a really good English dub. I know it is, but it's just like... No, I mean, I'm it's playing fine, Yakuza yeah. and it's not Japanese, it feels No, incorrect. no, I totally I feel you. I'm just saying like... also for other people's benefit yeah, yeah. that the English dub actually is really good, surprisingly, in the Yakuza 7. Well, surprisingly I, I, yeah. to me, anyway, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, for me, it's a mental thing. I just can't do it. Because I did not expect it to be really good. Yeah. Huh, that's so interesting. Oh yeah, also, I thought this game was long. I'm like fucking 60 hours into 7 now. Oh my god. <laughs> Also, I would, uh, I would say that Nishiki is one of the better actors in this game. Yes, I would agree. Uh, it's harder to tell, obviously, because they're all speaking in Japanese, and 
I can only, you know, I, I, it's, harder, I, it's harder to communicate whether you're a good actor in a language that you don't speak or not. Yeah. But it seems like he's good. That was my impression. Yosh. I think I've mentioned this before, but like, imagine playing Yakuza 1 without the context of who Nishiki is and what he means to cure you. It's, <laughs> I can't imagine going through that. So I think that they like kind of tell you in Yakuza 1, but not really, right? Like, they. So there are extra cutscenes they added for Kawami that give you a little bit of background on how Nishiki's. Like, right. went while Kiryu was in prison. But otherwise, But, like, that wasn't not in really. the original game. Yeah, no. So, I don't know, I don't know, man. Well, it makes sense that they made this game, then, I suppose. Since that's basically what this game is, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Or at least the early game, largely, that's what this is. Yeah. I mean, Nishiki is gonna not be on the radar for a while. But he'll, he'll be back. Well, you know, he's... You know, he has had a busy game in this game. What can I say? He's saving up all his energy for, for what, 15 years from now? Or whatever? He is, I think that's right. Yeah, sure. So are you playing as him right now? I'm playing the rhythm minigame. Because it sure seems like you're playing as him right now. So you can... Hello. The way that the karaoke in this game works is you can play a backup, or you can do the singing. And I'm pretty sure that I'm doing the backup right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so when you're not doing the actual singing, then you are like tambourine backup and clapping. And, or you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or you also, yeah, yeah. in the case of this song, you can hear like he's doing a little bit of backup singing even. I saw Kiryu in the corner clapping, so. Yeah. That's always been a thing in the, um, these things. Yes. <laughs> you think I watched all these? No, but I'm just telling you. That's That has consistently <laughs> been a thing. Damn, nailed it. Karaoke King over here. Kare Fourth okay. place. Kingu. Breaking the rules. I was clapping. <laughs> I had a tambourine. Just like Bob Dylan said. I'm a tambourine man. Just yes. call me the <laughs> tambourine man. So when the fuck is Godot gonna show up? That's later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not until Yakuza 3. We started Yakuza 3, and then, like, a dragon came out, and I was like, mm, but what if I played that instead? Mm -hmm. You see, when Oda-san isn't on screen, everyone has to ask, where is Oda-san? The uh, answer is usually somewhere. Yeah, seriously injured is the answer. He's fine. You look like you need a drink, pal. This is an anime, dude. He's fine. He just saw a hot girl. Don't worry about it. That doesn't even, like, hurt you in anime. Wow, your face is like twice the polygons of these other guys. Guy talks like he's smoked fucking 11 packs of cigarettes at all times. Mm -hmm. What's it say? Oh, he's reading it, okay. Yeah, he's nice, don't worry. 
What color is that eggshell? Egg. A tasteful off white. A tasteful off maybe, egg. Maybe bone. With raised lettering. Ooh, you hate to see it. <laughs> 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 ヤギ<笑><笑> When are they gonna fight? In a minute, Soon. God, you're so impatient. Listen, they they have to posture first. This is a whole. This, you can't just fight when you're yakuza. Then you'll get in trouble. Your boss will yell at you. He'll be like, "What the hell? Why are you guys just fighting?" So is that guy actually taller than Kiri, or is he wearing like platform shoes? You think? Which guy? Purple suit. Uh. I think they're the same height, and oh. it's just the way the camera is. Oh, there are. There's multiple guys wearing purple. My bad. Yeah. You mean this guy? Yeah. This guy, guy, I think, actually is taller than him. I also can. I don't know why I can't remember his name because he's the the like, most. Thank you. I was like, he's like the most major villain, so I definitely should remember his name, but I don't. Already forgot it. Okay, now you're going to shove traffic cones onto their heads, right? I mean, I don't know if there's any traffic cones in this back alley, but I maybe. I just saw some. Well, they're conveniently out of frame right now, so... They're, they're behind that motorcycle. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, behind the motorcycle, I see. Fine, you win this nope. round. See, it's right there. Oh. Don't they know that Kiryu, like, punches people constantly? They don't know that yet. They do know that, but they also are, think that they're cool and tough and strong. And they don't understand that there's a large difference between them and Kiryu, who is much stronger and tougher and cooler. It's like every single time Kiryu crosses the street, he gets in a fight with some people. Yeah. I mean, dude goes to get a pizza and he has to beat up like 20 dudes. It is actually kind of a plot point and important in this game the fact that Kiryu is kind of a nobody at this point, still. Ah. Uh. Like, in terms of the whole Yakuza world, right? Like, mm -hmm. he's. He's just some guy. He's just some dude. His biggest connection is that he was he got taken out of an orphanage by uh, what's his name? Kazuma. Da Ka Kazama, thank you. But I don't even think you really see Kazama in this game, right? Oh. You see him a little bit um, towards the very end. Right. Wait, I thought he got killed by Liquid Snake. No, uh, you're no, thinking that's, of. No, that's in Kiwami one. Yeah. Okay. 
This is the prequel. Liquid Snake has only just been rescued off of a, a child army in Africa or whatever. Man, that right. happened in Metal Gear Solid 5, huh? What do you mean? What's Metal Gear Solid 5? Remember? It's the game that they didn't finish? Well, I didn't finish it, so... Well, <laughs> there's, there's I that. guess that's fair. Well, then. the game itself wasn't finished either. I, I guess you can't be mad since you didn't finish the game either, so... Damn, that's a lot of money for hitting a guy with a pipe. Yeah, I mean, it was the 80s. Could get rich doing anything back then. Enormous that. Is it boss fight time now? No. Do you want it to be? Yeah. Uh, too bad it's not. <laughs> Just take out the shotgun. I, mean, I can't sure. buy those yet. I need the access to the secret weapon store. Oh, okay. I thought you had like a dozen of them. I have a dozen katanas, I think. It's like every time. Or no, see, I have, uh, have access to the weapon store as Majima. I don't think I have it as Kiryu yet. I see. see. Every time I see people playing Yakuza, they open up the menu and like scroll past like 12 different shotguns. Well. It just remember that it's non canon when Kiryu kills everyone with guns. Yeah. Even that bit where he's in a car shooting people. Right, non canon. It's paintball guns, it's fine. Right. It's airsoft. It's, it, it's, yeah, no, it's not paintball because they don't have that in Japan. It's airsoft. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Was it banned? Uh, I don't think it's banned. It's just. It's just not popular. Yeah. Airsoft is the one where they were like, let's have a fun, cool thing with guns that we can do. Let's make anime guns that shoot BBs. I mean, th actually, it's more, much more of like a milsim thing there, which it is in over yeah, here no. too, but... Really? Not cure you the guy who has like two facial expressions and both of them are stern What? We were speculating on that empty land. So is everybody. That's literally true, yes. That's literally the plot of the video game, is everybody hey, speculating on this land. That's literally the plot of multiple Yakuza games, let's be clear. Yeah. 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 Is so that I... there is there is some hey. Hey, you know what's expensive in Japan Land. and hard Land. and hard to get? Yeah, to especially in Tokyo area. Yeah. Property. Shit, that was the plot too in Major Arc and Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, and Dragon Ball Z has Frieza in it. That's true. Who is literally a real estate developer? Right, and this game doesn't have Frieza in it, so think about that. I did. All right, good. This guy thinks he's really tough. And he is kind of tough. But he's not really tough. 
How much intel can there be about an empty lot? A lot more than you would think, considering that it's an empty lot. Yeah. This video, think, this video game gets complicated later. I think most of the relevant data would be publicly available. You would think that, but you'd be entirely wrong about that. You know, like the acreage and all that? Yeah, no, that stuff they have. It's the other stuff and that they need. If there's utilities. As it turned out, there's buried treasure there. Please understand, lots are very, very complicated. I earned 201 grand pianos. Good. Damn. What are you gonna? Are you gonna buy that many? No. But I'm gonna okay. buy some real estate. Okay, because that would be too, probably too many. I don't think you need that many. Personally. How do you move that kind of loot? I mean, literally, that's a lot of shit. Trucks? You'll need, like, quite a few dudes and a lot of trucks. And trucks? I'll steal Amazon from Jeff Bozo. Then I'll have all the trucks I need. Can, can, you, can you actually do that? Because that would be great. I mean, I don't know how I would do it, but I would like to. If you do, I'll, I support your decision fully to do that. Yeah. I mean, we all could do it. We just need uh, some resources. The way that you and said resources was very sinister. <laughs> that was a very. That was the most sinister uh, yeah, I've heard like anyone a, say uh, resources. I meant like you know a helicopter. I don't think a helicopter alone is going to allow us to steal Amazon from Jeff Bozos, but... A helicopter covered with guns? I still don't think that is going to help us steal Amazon from Jeff Bozos, but I appreciate the idea. You need the one from San Andreas where I flew it real bad and it has the magnet on it? I think yeah. we would probably just need, like, really good, like, lawyers. <laughs> you know? Like, realistically, for, for really getting into this. You know, get a thermal drill. Alright, so here's the plan. One of us gets adopted by Jeff Bozos. Then, okay. then, then Jeff we become Bezos his heir. For no reason. Right, then he dies of na completely natural causes. Mm -hmm. And then... With you so far. And then, then we get... We, ha we, win we get it. We win. Now we have it. That's the end. And then we can give everyone I feel like you're with me in one way, but in another way you're not with me, and I feel like you should understand what goal is here. Are you sure he doesn't have, like, all his money in a big vault he could just attach a balloon Am to? I sure? No, I'm never sure. Don't ever ask me that. So it's, that would simplify things. Also, what's happening? Uh, slot stuff. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So basically, they're just talking about how the empty Real lot. State. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> sure. I could explain it better, but you know what? People, people who care are probably listening slash reading the actual thing that is fully explaining what is happening. So their plan is to buy real estate. Yes. They need real estate. It's ve they need. It's very important that they get real estate. Well, what you do is you get some real estate and you use that to get more real estate until you have all the well, real estate. Well, what you need to understand is you don't want fake real fake estate. That's bad. Right? You want real estate. Can't you, like, buy debt? Okay, that's that, still not that fake makes you estate. rich somehow. What you do is you buy debt, and then sell the debt, and then buy money with the debt you sold.
内側からの一つを追っていることにも気づいてますだから Then you buy more debt with the money and then you sell the money 社長は今すぐ身を隠してください俺はもう気流は信用できないと思います社長を同島組に売るかもしれない I love the scene that, like, he was like, it's cool, man. Obviously, he would do this, so why would we expect him to not do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, entirely fucking Nishiki's fault, right there. Yep. That that happened. Mama. Weird that they call her that. I know that that has to do with the bar, but. Yeah. And she's just like, what the fuck, man? You're you're in deep shit. It's like, you're. Hey, you're very criminal. Everything that you're talking about. Am I an accomplice now? This sucks. Yes. Oh. Yes, you are. Also, I had a thought, which is, if I open a bar in Japan, does that yes. mean everybody has to call me daddy? Oh. <laughs> is that... <laughs> because I have, uh... No, they call you Papa-san. Oh, no. Yeah. Is that better for you or worse? <laughs> I think it's worse. I feel like if you grow a beard and you just kind of lean into it, it could work. Well... You need this. You need the salt and pepper hair. You have to wear the like vest and like kind of like butler outfit. You know what I mean? Like the very like high end like fancy bar tender outfit. And you... my dad's in his sixties and he only just lost the color in his hair. So I don't Damn. know that I'm getting that. Well, you might have to just dye just the salt and pepper to make it happen then. Do they have a uh, Jimmy Buffett restaurants in Japan? Maybe. Have them in old. So I bet you could get that. They look. have them in Canada. 